Prime Minister says Grenada must play a lead role in tackling effects of climate change. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Rikisha St. Louis. Grenada must be positioned at the forefront of international best practices and processes to confront the effects of climate change head on. So says Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell. He was addressing the launch of the Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Program on Thursday. The SIEP project, which replaces MAREP, is jointly funded by the Government of Grenada, the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD. Dr. Mitchell said the time is now for Grenada to hasten its efforts to build resilience against climate change, being the chair of several regional and international committees. This will also enhance food security and reduce our unfavorable dependence on food imports. We must also position ourselves to secure sustainable jobs and livelihoods. With Grenada's international leadership on small island developing states, on climate change and environmental matters. And at the CARICOM level on science and technology, which we are again responsible for in leadership. The time is now for us to hasten our efforts towards building resilience. He said with programs like SIEP, Grenada is able to pave the way for more food and job security. I'm proud of the support that we've been able to get from our friends regionally and internationally. I know that our friends in IFAD and CDB were very concerned about where this program was going in Grenada in 2013 when they visited my office. And the perception was, is Grenada serious about the use of this important program? We promised them that the people voted for change. We promised them that they'll find an excellent partner in this government in utilizing the support that they have available for this country. I'm proud of the fact to see that we're back. Marp is back, has been back. Sayap is now back. Grenada is now back. In related news, government officials are optimistic that climate-smart agriculture is the way forward to food and job security in the midst of climate uncertainty. The Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Program, SIEP, was launched on Thursday, one month after the conclusion of the MAREP project. SIEP is a five-year program geared towards the reduction of poverty and vulnerability in rural communities. It will also seek to improve the livelihoods of the beneficiaries through assessing new jobs and adopting climate-smart agricultural practices. Program manager Byron Campbell said the new project will target two of the most vulnerable groups in society. CIEP was designed or built upon the existing capabilities and facilities of MAREP. It is based on the lessons learned from MAREP's operation, the process of strengthening rural communities, vocational skills training activities, the rehabilitation of farm access roads. It also factored the challenges faced in the promotion and financing of rural enterprises and the creation of new employment. The program will specifically target two of the most vulnerable groups, as I said. One, the unemployed and underemployed men and women with a focus on youth aged between six, 16 and 35 and smallholders farmers, fall smallholder farmers, that is both full and part-time. Minister for Agriculture Honorable Yolan Bain Hosford says with climate change becoming the new normal, climate smart agricultural practices must be made more prominent. She's optimistic that SIEP will continue to build on the many successes that MAREP has brought to the agriculture sector. Approaches that can mitigate these impacts must be continuously sought out and must be shared with our stakeholders. The Ministry has not been inactive in seeking out solutions and implementing initiatives to address this issue. The approach has been most effective in the adoption and utilization of climate smart agriculture practices. The Ministry, with assistance from regional and international partners such as CARDI, ECA, GIZ and FAO, has made real efforts in mainstreaming 
climate smart agriculture approaches in the agriculture sector, but there is still so much and much, much more to do. Minister for Climate Resilience, Honorable Simon Steele, described the establishment of SIAP as a policy signal to address the many vulnerabilities in rural communities. Whether the vulnerabilities are social, economic, environmental, in whatever sphere, for this government, these are all priority areas. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Look up now! What up now? My name is Jalen Olive, better known as Boise, better known as the Madras, your cultural ambassador, four times Soka Monarch Grenada, two times OECS Monarch, and two times Road Match, inviting you to Spice Mass 2018. This will be the one to experience. Well, Carnival Friday night is the biggest night because guess what? One stage, one night, two competitions, groovy and power. And guess what? Your artist may be the one. You never know. Come out and see who take the title. Foreigners come down to see it. No vibes, no energy. Rag, flag, bandanas. It's pandemonium on that night. So you don't know. I mean, I will be defending on that night. So make sure and be the Carnival Friday night. So come on up. Number five. John! Step put your hand up in the air. Rag up in the air. Put your flag up in the air. Put it up. Rag up in the air. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. So come on. Welcome back. With the move towards ICT becoming even more urgent, the Ministry of Education, Human Resource Development and Religious Affairs is placing more emphasis on upgrading schools to better use information communication technology. We get more details from Annette Moore. Speaking at a press conference on Monday, April 9th, ICT officer at the Ministry of Education, Kate Dakoto, highlighted several initiatives, including the new CXCE e testing. He says 100 laptops have been loaned from the Ministry of ICT, while 150 computers are being purchased by the government to facilitate testing. Secondary schools also received improved internet service as of January 2017. What the government and the Ministry of Education has done, we have increased the bandwidth to accommodate for e-testing. Because you know e-testing requires a lot of upload of the students' work as well as download of the questions. Additionally, wireless internet at schools may soon be a reality. We have collaborated with the NTRC to secure a project called the MESH Project which aims to provide wireless internet connectivity at all schools in Grenada. Primary, pre-primary, private, public school in Grenada. And there is even another collaboration with the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, or NTRC. We have a solar-powered ICT center at St. John's, the gut area, St. John's in the gut area there, that it's a solar powered center, computers available, and we have robotics, robotic kids there where students can learn through STEM, science, technology, engineering, and, ma and mathematics. We are doing a lot here at the ministry to ensure that we embrace the 21st century and have our students not being left behind in the stone age, but be with us. The curriculum awareness continues into next week, culminating in an educational showcase at the Ministry on Friday, April 20th. For the National Report, I'm Annette Moore. Now to recap the top story for today, Prime Minister says Grenada must play a lead role in tackling the effects of climate change. And that's the National Report for today. I'm Rakesha St. Louis.